surfing is connecting with the energy that's the strongest on the earth. So building the craft in which I get to do that on is the ultimate experience for me. When I was uh, probably, I think it was about 14 or 15, I had an older friend, a group of older friends, and they um, they all started going surfing, and they, you know, got me introduced to the idea of going out there. And one of them sold me a board that was just the, the wrong board, just not easy to learn on, you know, hard to paddle, hard to catch waves, hard to surf. So they they convinced me to buy that from them, and we get to the beach and he buys a brand new board because <laughs> it's way, he, he knows that that shape isn't the right one. It gets one that catches all the waves and here I am just floundering out there. So from the beginning I was like, oh, the shape really matters. The, the design of the board really changes the, the ride or the, the paddle, just the whole experience. After that, you know, I, got, I was totally hooked and just started trying to convince my mom to let me go or to take me every time I could, anytime there was a swell. What drew me back to surfing every time was just how, how much fun and enjoyment there is. You're always out there with a smile on your face and you're always having fun and it's everything. You're in the water, you're, you're, you're having to pay attention to the waves and the swell. It's just there's so many different factors that you're, you're never fully on top. Like you're always, you're always fighting to understand what to do next or what you can do better. Riding waves is extremely fun, but it's not just riding the wave. Like, it's so much synchronicity with the ocean if you choose to connect with it properly that it's, it's really a, an amazing feeling. When you first start surfing and you start seeing all the differences in shapes, it can be like a little overwhelming and you don't, you don't know what anything does. And all I really wanted to do is figure out what everything does. I, I was handed down a bunch of boards from my family that were from different generations and complete different designs and shapes. And that really sparked my interest in the design that goes behind it and wanting to create that for myself and for other people. My grandfather was, was surfing in Florida in the very, very beginning. He knew the, the crew of original surfboard shapers. He was connected to that scene in Melbourne, Florida, and I always, wanted to identify with that or, or at least learn from these people and I was given the opportunity to shape some boards with Dick a tree at his his personal bay at his house and that was a big a big thing for me that inspires every board I build now the main concept we're always looking at for every board is durability long-lasting fun you know we're, we're trying to build boards that are people are going to enjoy for the rest of their lives our lives uh, on this earth are so short, but when you create a surfboard that's gonna last, that, that's gonna outlive you a lot of times. If you, if, you, if you build it right, it'll outlive you. And that's pretty powerful to think that, you know, your kids or your kids' kids or anyone could be surfing it down the line or, you know, different generations. It's, <laughs> it's pretty crazy.
with surfing, we're always watching the swells and the winds and the, and the periods and everything, and it matters so much. Well, the same thing comes with snowboarding. You know, you can't go out there in the middle of summer. You gotta wait for the right time of year. You gotta wait for the right snow. So I see the, a lot of similarities there. And then I think that the perspective you get on the top of the mountain, like when you get to the very top of the mountain and you're sitting there and you're, you're doing your boots, that same moment is the feeling you have when you're sitting in the lineup waiting for the set wave to come. You know, you're like in the middle of nature, everything's around you. And you know, there could be people around you or they, there might not be, that doesn't matter. You're just there, you know? And it's like a 360 view of nature all around you. It's the same feeling and I really enjoy that. I first seen Aaron's work a year and a half ago. I reached out to him and was like, hey man, like, you know, are you interested in doing a collab? Because I, I would really like to try some of your snowboards and I think that I could make a surfboard that would really, you know, match that vibe. And he was super excited, he was super stoked. So last year I got, I got working on the fish, the pal fish, um, and then I did the red tail hawk, and then I just did another red tail hawk. I know personally riding the red tail hawk on the mountain and then in the water, very similar ride. When you're holding the edge, like toe side, it felt just like driving down the line, you know, like right when the wave starts to barrel, you, you, you only have the inside rail holding on and that's exactly what it felt like with the Red Tail Hawk. I just like to be able to connect all three more, you know, be able to, like what we're doing right now with like, you know, a snowboard that rides like a surfboard, like they're, they're actually the same design, but in different mediums. I'd like to create more and more of that. It's a blank page, you know, we're still learning. We don't know what it is. We've, we haven't been snowboarding forever. We haven't been surfing forever. And so the, the options are infinite. Shaping surfboards is something you can never master. You know, I'll never master it, and I look at it like a lifelong endeavor of trying to create happiness and fun for, for myself and others.